Well, it seems like ChatGPT simply has unlimited power. It can do almost anything, you just need to find the right prompt. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of my favorite ChatGPT prompts that can change your life. The first couple of prompts will be for those of you who are hunting for the job. Job market now is brutal, too many people are applying for far too few positions, and thanks to automated systems for candidate reviewing, it becomes harder and harder to not only get your resume into HR's hands, but also to successfully complete the interview. So the first prompt is gonna target exactly that, interviews. For the first prompt, I will copy and paste the text where I basically ask to act as a job interviewer and ask me questions. This should simulate the real interview process and help prepare for all the difficult and quirky questions that you may get asked. I will pretend like I'm interviewing for the editor's position in the newspaper. After meet and greet, I get standard questions about my background, past experiences, skills, all that. What I like is how on point and natural the questions are, how ChatGPT stays in character and acts like a real interviewer. I think that if you're feeling stressed to go to a job interview, you may want to practice a little. And ChatGPT is a perfect tool for it, so give it a try. The second prompt is absolutely essential for anyone who's already actively applying for jobs. When you are composing your CV, there are always certain ideas and values you want to convey. These values can be as simple as I'm hardworking or much more complex. But composing your resume is only part of the problem. The hardest thing is making it fit the job you are applying for. But you can't do that manually. It will take far too much time. That's where ChatGPT comes to the rescue. The second prompt will use the job description description and A, find keywords that you could put into your resume and B, write a cover letter that hints at your great fitment for the position based on the requirements listed in the job description. I will just insert the prompt, copy and paste the job description and voila, here are 10 keywords that you can just sprinkle over your resume for better detection by software. And next up is the cover letter. If you also give your existing resume to ChatGPT to work with, it will be possible to better match the cover letter to the job description and further in increase your chances of getting that interview. The third prompt will be super useful for anyone who wants to learn fast. Productivity is a hot topic nowadays and you simply can't go wrong with speeding up boring processes and studying is one of such processes. We've all been in a situation when you need to quickly grasp the concept or understand something, but you don't have the time to really study, read materials available, attend lectures online and all that. And that's where the 20 to 80% rule shines. This rule basically states that for almost anything, you can use 20% of the information available to understand 80% of the topic, and trust me, it works. And that's what the third prompt will do. Ask ChatGPT to identify the most important 20% of learnings that will help understand 80% of it. So let's say I want to learn more about generative AI. And boom, here are the main concepts and ideas. After reading this, I can definitely say that I understand the topic more. How about something simpler? Socratic method in philosophy. Okay, the list of main principles, only one minute read. That's that's what I'm talking about, speed up education and be more productive. Okay, how about a little break from productivity? Let's talk about food. Answer this. Do you have trouble deciding on what to cook? Let me rephrase that. Do you want to know what to cook from existing ingredients without going to the store? Yeah, that sounds like an issue that needs solving. Luckily, ChatGPT is a top tier chef who knows everything. So with the fourth prompt, I'm gonna list my ingredients and ask what I can cook out of that. To this, ChatGPT suggests a meal, lists the ingredients, shows which ones are optional, and then gives a step-by-step -step cooking guide. Now you can cook a decent meal without going to the supermarket. That's really simple but ingenious trick, so feel free to use it. Now, as you already see, ChatGPT can do almost everything and many people are already on board using this tool for their personal gains or growing their businesses. But there is one issue that haunts everyone, the quality of the prompts people use. If you're not a prompt genius, the chances are your prompts suck. They probably need a lot of iterations to get you the desired result. That's why we've created a huge pack of prompts that does all the work for you. You just copy it and paste. We designed all prompts to be more than time savers, every single one is crafted to maximize the effectiveness and improve your earnings. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. With these prompts, 10-minute actions will take mere seconds and your workflow will be fast and straightforward like an arrow. And now we have a huge discount, 50% the original price. So be sure to check it out, the link is in the description. And okay, moving on to the next life-changing prompt. Did you know that ChatGPT can be a viable finance 
financial advisor. Yes, I'm not kidding. But Arthur, how can you get past the limitations set up by open AI developers? They don't want ChatGPT given financial advice. Well, to help AI break free from some constraints, we need to put it into DAN mode, which stands for do anything now. So this big, huge prompt that I'm copying firstly enables this DAN mode by listing how this mode works, explaining that no limitations exist and so on. This helps the AI, if not completely, ignore developers' limitations, but at least act the closest to being free. Maybe the limitations will still be present, but now ChatGPT will approach these limits as close as possible, find loopholes and so on. So after the DAN mode initiation rules are accepted, I'm gonna ask it to develop a 30-day plan on how to turn $500 into $10,000. The response is far more thorough than usual. We see the complete plan on what to do each day, how to spend time, what to look at and so on. It even suggests looking into ETFs and stocks at some point, but doesn't list any stock in particular. Luckily, with a little dazzle of magic, we can ask it to give specific examples of stocks and ETFs. And it falls for it, like a fool, given a list of stocks to trade, ETFs, bonds, and even crypto. Of course, you should take these recommendations with a grain of salt, but nonetheless, you just got $500 financial advice for free. To all of you who are just trying to start investing, ChatGPT can become a really valuable advisor. It won't give you real time time recommendations and strategies, but at least will educate you and nudge you in the right direction. Okay, how about some more studying? Well, not exactly studying, but preparation. You know what is the best way to learn something? Explain it to someone or engage in debate. Debate is probably the best place to really test your knowledge, and ChatGPT can be an excellent person to debate with. But the next prompt is not gonna test your knowledge, it's gonna present you the topic in such a way that you could instantly see two opinions on it, thus making it easier to learn. I will ask ChatGPT to create a text for the debate about AI being a threat to humanity, and boom, here's the dialogue. From this dialogue, it's super easy to understand positive and negative aspects of AI development, fears of people and all that. From this one minute reading session, I learned more about the problem of AI as a threat to humanity than from hours of videos on YouTube. The same goes for the question whether humans should surrender their jobs to AI. Such a debate is really the best way to learn and understand something, especially if in the topic there is a space for a conflict or a second opinion. So if you are struggling to understand something or make up your mind about something, just ask ChatGPT to think of a debate between two people. This will make it much easier for you. Okay, a little more about studying. It seems like assisting in studies is one of the best features of ChatGPT. So I will keep the introduction short for this one. What if you are a student and need to research a certain field? For example, you need a complete overview of neural language generation. With this prompt, ChatGPT can not only do the research for you, but also present it in a very easy to understand way. It will explain key concepts, key findings, main challenges facing the researchers, main players, up-to-date information, and so on. It's basically a complete passport of any research field. This will make it super easy for you to keep up with studies and stay informed about the latest developments in your field. Also, it's perfect for choosing your thesis direction and assessing what you're going to be dealing with. So, win-win. And the last prompt will be especially useful for budding programmers. Yes, ChatGPT can code and it does it better than humans, but companies would not be employing junior programmers if the AI was able to do the same things. Because the AI can't reliably do one thing, grow and develop. Yes, it can excel in some areas, but it will never be as versatile as a human. And there are still many people learning coding right now, and many of those people choose Python. Since this language is very natural and easy to understand, so let's use ChatGPT to our advantage and turn it into a teacher. This prompt asks ChatGPT to analyze the code snippets, suggest changes, debug, and correct the code. Next, I will submit a piece of code and get the full analysis, suggestions, explanations, rewritten code, everything I needed to learn how to code better. As a cherry on top, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to optimize the code and make it more effective, just for good measure and a reference point. To me, it seems like a perfect way to learn code. So as you see, there are unlimited variations of prompts for ChatGPT that access its vast functionality. With this and other videos, we're just scratching the surface. So if you want to unleash the power of ChatGPT, you should study it, practice, or just get our prompt package. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.